Pick in Vegas and beyond. <clears throat> Back with another video. So, I'm going to show you a haul that I had at Goodwill. I don't know. Not sure how good it is. Don't really want to act like it's the best haul ever. Like a lot of resellers do with every haul video. Literally every single haul video they put out is the best haul they have ever had. But I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Have you ever walked into a thrift store? And grab the cart. And as soon as you start walking. Feel like you need to fart. And. They try to. Hold it back. But then. You look around. And you realize there's no one there. To hear it. So you decide to let it rip, only to remember that you just ate lunch at Taco Bell. Me neither, but I did have an experience where I, my stomach was just, I don't know, kind of in, I had a weird feeling like I really needed to fart when I was at Goodwill. But I was kind of hoping it would come out as one of those silent farts because there were a lot of people there well more than I was hoping would be there but not really as much as there normally are at that one because normally it's so crowded that people are parking across the street in a vacant lot but for whatever reason that day there were a decent amount of people, but they were all right there where I was. I don't know if it's because of what I found that made me want to, like, made my stomach, like... Anyway, I was hoping it would come out silent. It was so loud that everyone in the whole damn place heard it. And they all turned to look. And I immediately got the hell out of there and they blamed it on the fat guy on the electric scooter. So, anyway, I'm going to show you, I don't know if you ever tried these things, but sometimes I need more energy. Other times I just don't care, but. I don't know. For some reason, today I'm in a weird mood. I don't know. I'm going to show you what I found. And it might just be the best haul on YouTube. I don't know shit about this type of product. So, I'm not going to claim it's the best haul like every other reseller does. In every freaking haul video they have. But, <clears throat> these are all... And no, this is not all I have. There's more. There's four bags of vintage NASCAR items. And I got a really good deal on it. Because no one else was even paying attention. <sighs> Thank you, coronavirus. But anyway. 
These are all vintage. New, old stock, whatever the frick you want to call them. But anyway, I don't know jack shit about NASCAR. But... I don't know who number 18 is for interstate batteries. Oh, it says his name right on it. Duh! Dumbass. Bobby, whatever the fuck that says. I can't pronounce that name. Um, Jeremy Mayfield, whoever that is. This, these are all, every single one of them I looked at has been, from, yeah, this is from 97. <clears throat> I haven't looked any of them up. I don't know what they're worth. But. Uh, so let's say Gary Bradbury. There's a lot of them. And it's not just these. There's like stuff in here like a program and some other stuff from an actual NASCAR event from years ago. Um, Ricky Craven. Some of the boxes look damaged, but it's not. It's actually the residue from the price tag that I took off. I'll go back over them and get all that off. Um, this one, I can't make out what that says. Is that Joe something? I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know NASCAR. To me, I've never thought NASCAR was entertaining. I'm the type of person, I see Nat, someone watching NASCAR and I don't understand why. To me, that's like the most boring thing you could do with a day. But NASCAR collectibles are go for a decent amount of money, so especially vintage ones that are hard as hell to find. Johnny Benson. Don't know who that is either. I only really know the ones that are really famous. I don't know every NASCAR driver. So some of these could be... I don't... I can't make out that name. That's like an autograph type thing. And yeah, there's no way in hell I would be able to make that out. And it doesn't say the name anywhere else on it, so I don't know who the hell that is. Unless it's on the back somewhere. Yeah, I don't see the name on it anywhere. So, yeah. I don't know who that is because I can't find the name. Well, I found the name. I just can't make it out. And there's no normal font anywhere to where I could be able to read it. <clears throat> and let me guess. Another one with a weird, yep, damn it. Don't know who the hell that is either. Uh, I don't know. I think it's an awesome haul. But I don't know jack shit about 
NASCAR. So it could be. Oh. Damn, what's with these autograph? It's on top of the cars like that. That makes it impossible to read what the hell it says. That's a third straight one that's like that where I can't read what they say. <sighs> and another one, of course. Wow. <laughs> this is just getting ridiculous. I didn't even really look at them until now, so that's why I didn't know they were all. The majority of them are the autograph type signature of the name or whatever. So it's going to be impossible to read. Awesome. Okay. Another one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell? And this one is not even hardly showing up on camera. There it goes. But yeah. And these are pretty good size cars too. And they're heavy. They have a lot of weight to them. I think each one's at least a couple pounds or more. Oh cool. John Deere one. And what in the hell is that? There's no way in hell anyone would be able to read that signature. That doesn't even look like a signature. It looked like just someone scribbled on it. But apparently it's a signature. I know, but this one would be, would appeal to three different types of collectors. NASCAR... Hot Wheels, and John Deere. So, and like, for example, this one would appeal to Hot Wheels, NASCAR, and people who collect. <coughs> like, gas type stuff. <coughs> Man, what in the hell? Ugh. Um, Jeff something, I think it says. Might be Jeff um, Burton, I think. At least I can read that. A lot of those other ones I couldn't even read because of how... Just bad the handwriting was. What is this? Um, cartoon car, I guess. Of some kind. I don't know what cartoon that is. I don't watch cartoons, so I wouldn't know. <clears throat> Another signature that I can't make out because of how they wrote it. But, I don't know. If you know anything about NASCAR and you know who's who or whatever, just tell me in the comments. Because I literally don't know anything about NASCAR. I'll tell you what I know. <clears throat> they make a lot of left turns. That's all I know. Okay. Ernie Irvin. other ones up here yeah I'll put that one up there because <laughs> I don't want to put them on the very bottom shelf just in case like something crazy happens like a flood or something 
because sometimes we get really crazy weather out here in the desert. Like one time it snowed. That was weird. They closed down schools and people were looking at each other like they didn't know what the hell that white shit that was falling was and I think it scared the shit out of most of them because they'd never seen it before. But I've lived in places before where it snowed. And I hated it. That's why I live in the desert. And that pissed me off when it snowed in the desert. But anyway. This is like programs from some event that they went to. And it has all kinds of information and a little collectible thing in it. Like I said, this is a hole and a half. If you thought I was joking. And this one, I think they just gave it to me because when I was going through them, there was no price tag anywhere on it. So, I think they just threw this in with everything else. Because there was no price tag anywhere on it. But anyway... This is a hull and a half. Like, and I, there was a ton of these too, and I got every single one of them they had. No point in leaving them behind, I didn't think. It's just. The thing I thought was funny is how many different sized cars they had for like NASCAR cars. Because they had, well, you've already seen, and it wasn't just like one type of thing because like here's the one with the card. I didn't even know they ever made any of this kind of shit, but I'm no NASCAR fan, so of course I didn't know. <clears throat> but Terry something Le Labonte Labont I don't know Johnny Benson, again. I think I just had another one of his that, like, a different car that he drove or something for a different company. Um, I can't make out what the hell that says. No clue. Because <laughs> of the color of the font is like almost unreadable with, I don't know what the hell that says. <laughs> no clue. Anyway, there's three more. Don't know who any of these people are, but these are all vintage little cars. I've never even found vintage NASCAR collectibles anywhere except for one time maybe a year or two years ago 
I was at another Goodwill in another town. Yeah, another Goodwill in another town. I found an entire shelf full of this same type of stuff. But it was like 10 times more then than, it, than what I just showed you. But that time I passed it up because at that time I was like, who the hell is going to buy NASCAR collectibles or whatever? And then later on that day, I looked it up. I looked up a couple of them that I memorized seeing and saw how much they were going for. And I was like, holy fuck. And then I went back and someone else had already beat me to them. So... Long story short, now when I see shit like this, I grab it when I see it, and I don't even think twice about it. Because the ones that I saw back then, like a year or two ago, I looked up three of them that I memorized. That I saw. The cheapest one was going for like $89.99. The other ones were going for a pile of like well over a hundred dollars I'm not saying any of these are gonna be worth anywhere near that much but I'm just saying that some NASCAR collectibles can be worth a lot of money that's all I'm saying that one is one of 15,000 and they ripped the fucking package right there. That sucks. But yeah. The point is, if you see NASCAR stuff like this, buy it when you see it and don't think twice about it. As long as they're asking, you know, as long as they're not asking a ton of money for it. I didn't spend that much money because, like I said, no one else was even looking at the stuff. And the guy that at the checkout was like, he was talking to me about how at the time when I bought this stuff, they'd only been back open for two weeks. And he said that... Well, he pretty much was telling me what I already knew about that place because I've been to that Goodwill probably, if I had to guess, I'd say 40 or 50 times before, like before the world ended in apocalypse and all this shit. But <clears throat> since everything has, you know, been reopened and trying to go back to normal or whatever normal is now or whatever we, whatever counts as normal now I don't know <clears throat> the like the amount of customers that go into Goodwill now is like way down as far as like in this part of the country like I've been to several of them since they reopened and yeah it's just like, for example, the day I went, that's the first and only time I've been to that Goodwill where every single parking space in the parking lot wasn't packed and people weren't parked all around the edges of the parking lot and all down that side street beside it and all across the street in that vacant lot and all in that other parking lot for the store next door and everywhere else normally there's like thousands of people in that damn place i went there once and it was literally so crowded that people were lined up all the way around the building to check out i talked to someone who had been waiting in line for over two hours just to check out one time because there were so many people there that day. But that was how it used to be. Now it's like you walk in, you get lucky, and you find a huge score like I did. And that's just normal now. 
because there's not that many people that are go still willing to go to thrift stores. Like, it's mostly just resellers that go there now. The people that used to go and shop for themselves and stuff like that, you don't really run into too many of them anymore. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because I'm rambling on and I still have more stuff to show you in another video.